Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm kind of going to talk about what vegan supplements I take. So first I'm going to start off with B12. Money! There's a cat down here. <laughs> Not my cat, but there's a cat down here. I take this B12 spray um, by Bioceuticals. So you literally just spray it once a day on your tongue and that's your B12 of the day. That's <laughs> some B12? No, you don't need B12, you're a carnival. Oh my god, don't knock the cat! <laughs> Come on! So that's simple. Um, B12 is very important if you're a vegan, so make sure you're taking a supplement. Um, there is also B12 in nutritional yeast and fortified plant milks and spirulina. Um, spirulina is like the god of all superfoods. It has a crazy amount of vitamins and minerals, um, tons of iron. I have a great recipe for a protein spirulina smoothie that I'll link below. Um, I don't even know what this lighting looks like. Because the sun was out, now it's gone. Don't know what's happening. But I do want to keep changing the light, you know. So, every now and then I'll take um, these flaxseed oil for omega-3. I do have a tablespoon of flaxseed in my breakfast every morning. So, I mean, I kind of look at food as medicine. So, I make sure I get all my vitamins and minerals from plant foods. I've heard that taking too many tablets can actually put stress on the liver. So um, that's the way I prefer to get my vitamins and minerals. But of course B12, if you're vegan, you probably have to like supplement it. I also have a tablespoon of chia seeds every morning um, in my breakfast bowl. That has a great amount of omega-3 as well. Also hemp seeds and walnuts. Um, which I also actually put in my breakfast. And um, for this one I usually just take one a day. Um, but it actually says you can take up to 10 capsules daily in this one. But I ain't about that life. So. I also take this probiotic from this brand. What is this brand? Life Space. This one is, as you can see, it's 64 billion. I know you can get probiotics from um, kombucha, like coconut kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi. But if you have a bit of more of like a sensitive stomach and if you're feeling a bit gassy, getting one that's at least 50 billion will actually help your gut a lot. Kombucha and all of that may not be enough. So I take one of those a day and I haven't actually um, taken this yet, but I found this these magnesium tablets online. The brand is just K-A-L, I think. And this was the highest form of magnesium in one tablet that I could find. But still it says to take two a day. Yeah, but sometimes my legs can ache occasionally and that's the only time I'll take one. In saying that, they haven't actually ached in a long time. And I think that has to do with cacao. I have cacao, maybe like a heap tablespoon of cacao every morning with my breakfast as well. And that is one of the highest plant sources of magnesium and iron actually. So cacao is like one of my top superfoods as well. Also has calcium in it and it's a big mood booster as well. So I actually, seriously, when I started taking cacao, like every single day, I actually saw a big difference in my mood. Like, I felt a lot happier. Speaking of iron, you can get iron from legumes, soy, tofu, edamame, um, dark leafy greens, so like sp spinach, kale, nuts and seeds, and I've heard blackstrap molasses as well. So yeah, calcium. Tahini is a great source of calcium, so like sesame seeds. 100 grams of tahini is, I think, 80% of your daily calcium intake. And also has a lot of iron as well. 
So chia seeds, has a lot of calcium, um, almonds, greens. Being a vegan, you're not missing out on vitamins. If anything, you're getting way more. Iodine is pretty important. It helps in balancing hormones and your thyroid, which controls metabolism. Iodine is normally in sea vegetables, so um, seaweed, kelp. I actually like snacking on those. Uh, I haven't in a while, but sometimes I'll get those packets of this, like the seaweed strips you can snack on. You can get like different flavors as well. I normally just like the uh, sea salt ones. They're actually good. And obviously sushi as well. I mean, who doesn't like sushi? Another big question is, you know, where do vegans get their protein from? Every protein is basically in all your legumes, vegetables. There is a ton of protein in tempeh, you know, soy, tofu, edamame, uh, legumes, so beans, lentils, hemp seeds, chia seeds, quinoa, spirulina. Nutritional yeast, nuts and seeds, almond butter, peanut butter. I have almond butter in my breakfast as well every morning. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see the breakfast I have like all the time, like the same breakfast. It's just so good. Uh, also oats as well. Sometimes I will take protein powder, um, maybe like either before or after the gym. I normally put it in my smoothies as well if I make a smoothie. I love using the brand Vega, V-E-G-A. Their vanilla protein is so good and they use, you know, kind of clean ingredients. Also, always making sure I get my healthy fats from avocados, nuts and seeds, nut butters, tahini. I'm still unsure of the oil thing, like, you know, coconut oil and olive oil probably the best if you want to pour a bit on, say, your salads or use a little bit to cook with. I don't usually use oils to cook with. Uh, I just have non-stick pans. And if you put a bit of water in, that's fine. But I'm no nutritionist, so don't like. So healthy fats are important for optimal brain, nerve, and heart function. And it also helps absorb certain nutrients. So make sure you're getting your fats. I normally have half to one avocado a day. Who doesn't like avocado? Avocado is love. So people have actually commented a lot on my skin. I mean, that's probably from getting an abundance of different nutrients, fruits and veggies in my diet, healthy fats. As you can see, it kind of like it makes my skin glow and it's clear. Skin has a lot to do with genes as well, but also a lot, a lot to do with your diet. If you have good skin and hair, it shows that you are treating your body well on the inside. Also, because, well, I'm from Australia, I was just there recently for summer, didn't take vitamin D at all, because obviously you get it from the sun, and there was enough sun there. But coming back to London, where there's no sun, <laughs> taking vitamin D is actually really important for your energy levels. After taking this as well, my energy levels have improved a lot. And I mean, mixed with cacao powder, I reckon my energy levels have like, whew. so also in saying that, make sure you're eating enough food because food is fuel. So if you're having no energy and you know you might not be eating enough, make sure you're eating more. So this is, yeah, garden of life. These really natural ingredients. Um, this is just one spray in your mouth as well. It's a bit more thicker. Um, this doesn't, this is vanilla flavor, but woo! This doesn't taste as good as the B12, surprisingly. It's not too bad. Give me a minute. Yeah. To be honest, you get used to it. Could have used a stronger flavor though, you know? Like berry or something, but anyway. With my diet and getting my vitamins and minerals, I tend to listen to my body. Um, and I'm quite intuitive in listening to my body and knowing what it wants and needs. So, you know, if you're feeling like you might be getting a bit run down, you might be getting a bit sick, a tickle in your throat or something, I jump straight on foods that have vitamin C, like citrus fruits, lemons, oranges, 
kiwi fruit, strawberries, papaya, um, camu camu powder. I know Loving Earth sells that. Um, it's like an enhanced version of vitamin C or something. It's like a powder. Um, you can put it in smoothies or just in a drink, juice. So yeah, and you know if I'm feeling like I need what iron or something like that, I'll tend to go to foods with a lot of iron. So for me, it's kind of about listening to my body and what I feel like that day. So yeah, that's kind of just um, useful information for you. Some of these, you might be able to find them, you know, on their site or on Amazon or iHerb's really good one. I got some from iHerb. I'm not sponsored or anything. Just letting you know. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below if it helped you out and what supplements you take. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!